Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best camera for music videos. Starting at number 5. Sony ZV-E1. Combining compact proportions with class-leading video, the ZV-E1 is a fantastic pick if vlogging is your genre. In our tests, its excellent 12.1 MP sensor produced clean 4K slash 60P footage in all lighting scenarios. We also found that its S-Cinetone color profile looks fantastic straight out of the camera, without any post-production. The ZV-E1 is the lightest Sony camera with in-body image stabilization. That portable design means it's comfortable to work with when vlogging alone. On the other hand, we were a little disappointed by the variangle display in testing, finding it difficult to see outdoors. It's also a shame that the ZV-E1 has only one card slot and no cooling vents. Still, the ZV-E1 is undeniably a winner for video. Its image stabilization proved excellent in testing, smoothing out handheld footage. AI smarts help to keep shots reliably in focus, while a neat auto-framing trick tracks subjects so effectively that you might believe that a manual operator was responsible a big help for vloggers shooting solo. Coming at number 4. Fujifilm X-H2S. The Fujifilm X-H2S is one of the most powerful hybrid cameras you can buy. It's expensive for an APS-C camera and lacks the retro charm of recent Fuji models. But it also delivers pro-quality video performance without the full-frame bulk. Pairing a stacked CMOS sensor with Fuji's X-Processor 5 gives it a huge spec sheet boost, you can record 6.2K slash 30P video internally with 4.2.210-bit color depth. Grapple with the endless menus and you'll find countless profiles for color grading in post, while using a CF Express card also unlocks three Apple ProRes codecs. With no recording limits, we were able to shoot in 4K for more than two hours before the battery gave out. While we were disappointed by the 1.29x crop on 4K slash 120p footage, video quality otherwise proved clean and crisp. And though autofocus isn't class leading, Subject tracking is nevertheless impressive. Other familiar features only sweeten the deal, including in-body image stabilization and an articulating touchscreen. For filmmakers, the Fujifilm X-H2S is fantastically capable but objectively overkill. But if you want an outstanding video camera that also has superlative stills abilities, no other APS-C camera can match its skill set. At number 3. Sony A7S III. The video star of Sony's A-Series line, the A7S III uses a back-illuminated full-frame sensor to deliver best-in-class 4K video in a range of lighting situations. With 15 stops of dynamic range and an expandable ISO of 40 to 409,600, not to mention an effective in-body image stabilization system, we discovered in our review that it's able to capture beautiful videos in conditions that would thwart most of its competitors. The sensor's relatively low resolution of 12.1 MP does rule out 6K and 8K recording, but the powerful Bion's XR processor allows 4K footage to be recorded at up to 120 frames per second for smooth slow-motion playback. We were also impressed by the strength of its feature set, a full-size HDMI output, class-leading autofocus, support for several picture profiles, including the popular S-Log, and the ability to record clips longer than 30 minutes with no overheating issues were all signs of a serious video camera. In terms of usability, we think that the A7S III boasts many improvements over its predecessors. The touchscreen is now fully articulating and able to flip, while boosted battery lets you capture over 75 minutes of 4K footage on a single charge. The simplified UI is much more intuitive, too. Number 2 of my list Panasonic GH5 Mark II The original Panasonic GH5 was possibly the first mirrorless camera that did both 4K video and stills photography well, but its successor arrives at a time when plenty of rival models share that trait. While it doesn't offer much of an upgrade, the Mark II stands out by virtue of its built-in wireless live streaming capabilities. At the time of writing, you won't find these on any other mirrorless camera. Its overall video skills remain strong as well, 
10-bit 4-2-2 footage can be recorded internally or externally. There's a wide variety of frame rate options and various anamorphic video resolutions, plus Panasonic's flat VLOG profile gives you 12 stops of dynamic range to play with in post-production. That the GH5 Mark II includes all this in a compact, lightweight and weatherproof body with effective IBIS makes it all the more impressive. Its sensor may be small, which does limit its low-light capabilities, but our tests revealed it to be a mighty video camera. Consider it if you don't have the budget, or perhaps the need, for the GH6. And number 1. Panasonic Lumix S5 II. A timely update to one of our favorite video cameras, the Panasonic Lumix S5 II cements that status with a fleet of improvements. Relatively small like its predecessor, we found it reassuringly solid yet comfortable to use during our review. Despite its compact design, it suffers no shortage of dedicated dials and buttons, all that's missing is a tally light. Though marketed as a hybrid, video is where the S5 II excels, in testing, we found the quality of its 6K 30P footage excellent, with rich colors and wide dynamic range. Usefully, 10-bit recording is available across almost all resolutions and frame rates. The S5 II can also record uncropped footage using the sensor's full 3 to 2 aspect ratio, which offers welcome versatility when cropping content for social. The S5 II is Panasonic's first mirrorless model with phase detection AF for video, and it works streamily. Paired with image stabilization that's superbly effective for handheld work, it's a great choice for run and gun videographers, even if the 1.5x crop on 4K 60p video can be limiting. Serious filmmakers will find the Lumix S5 IIX even more compelling, but features like unlimited recording times mean the S5 II is a fantastic tool for high-quality video. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.